Our earthquakes today basically happened right about here. Geologists call them earthquake swarms, the series of quakes happening about 300 miles off the Oregon coast, hitting anywhere between 5.0 and 6.0 on the Richter scale. So it's not on the Cascadia subduction zone, which is only about half as far out, 140, 150 miles. Southern Oregon University geology professor Charles Lane says these swarms don't raise eyebrows because they are far away from the Cascadia subduction zone, which could potentially produce much larger quakes and the way the fault is moving. There was never a tsunami warning issued because of the nature of the movement uh, on, the, on the fault zone. The earthquake's not putting any motion in the ocean. When these ocean faults go side to side, we don't typically worry too much about tsunamis because that only happens when the faults go up and down and displace the water column. Despite geologists not concerned about these quakes being a trigger to something much more severe. You can go back to that old saying, it's not if, it's when. Emergency preparedness experts say it's never too early to make sure your family and animals are safe if the big one does come. If you prepare for an earthquake, the largest disaster that we can possibly um, imagine, um, then you're going to be prepared for the smaller disasters. Geologists agree, saying several earthquakes in our region are business as usual. It's the ring of fire. This is where we live. The Ring of Fire is where the most seismic and volcanic activity happens on Earth. Geologists say something shakes or erupts in that region every 11 seconds. South America, Central America, North America, the Aleutians, Kamchatka, Japan, the Philippines, back through the South Seas. Covering your news, Justin Matthews, News 10.